Hello friends, uh, we have completed our theory part. Today we will discuss some calculation based questions. In my previous video I told you that there are four questions that are given in the question paper and you are just required to write only your uh, two questions and uh, the questions are your based on number one question is your frequency distribution then uh, second is a regression analysis third is loan and lease statement fourth is a payroll statement okay so we'll discuss all these questions one by one uh, so this is your frequency distribution co uh, question uh, this year uh, complete the table for frequency distribution uh, write down the formula in the appropriate cells and this is the question there are uh, five uh, columns a b c d e and you are 10 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and they are given uh, uh, three three things like uh, and in the fifth uh, row they have given lower limit upper limit and your frequency now you need to fill these question mark columns these question mark cells okay in these cells you need to write the formula that after writing the formula you will get some value okay so I'm gonna tell you that what formula you need to write in these question mark cells okay so when you write the answer of frequency uh, distribution first you will write the syntax of it and the syntax here it is given is equal to frequency you can see here is equal to frequency bracket data array comma bins array so first you'll write the syntax and then you will write the particular cells okay in the first cell you'll write is equal to frequency bracket a1 is to e3 comma b6 now from where we get this a1 is to e3 comma b6 this one you can see here a1 a1 and it is going up to e3 this is e your e and this is 3 a1 is to e3 starting from a1 a1 you can see 50 and your e is there e3 okay so a1 is to e3 comma i have said ki you will write b6 so b is here and up to 6 tak hai. this you can see b6 okay then in the next question mark cell what you need to write is is equal to frequency bracket a1 is to e3 same in all the columns you will write is equal to frequency bracket a1 is to e3 a1 is to e3 a1 is to e3 and in comma you'll write first in the first cell you'll write b6 then in the second b7 then b8 then b9 and b10 this way you need to write the formula in the uh, appropriate cells okay c b this b and 6 comma b Seven. when you'll write the second cell then b8 when you'll write the third cell b8 okay then in fourth b9 and in fifth b10 this b10 okay and a1 is to e3 is common in all the cells so that was how you need to write your frequency distribution question now let us discuss the next question that is regression analysis you can see here complete the following table for regression analysis write down the appropriate formula i'm going to tell you the appropriate formula which you need to write in the relevant cells and you can clearly see this these question marks you need to write the formula in these question mark cells okay so it is written here estimated output in estimated output you can write any value you want like you are given output 100 in 2001 so in 2001 maybe you were expecting more output than 100 might be you were expecting less output than 100 so you can write it according to you like so for example if you're expecting more output so you'll write here 120 or if you were expecting less output you can write here 80 whatever value you want it should be near to 100 then any value near to 125 uh, related to 120 then 210 so you can write the value according to you there is no as such foundation or any rule estimated is the um, uh, the output you have actually estimated but it the actual output is written here but the estimated was something else so you will write it according to yourself okay see we have written the estimated output it in the question it was 100 we have written 80 in the question uh, in the second cell in question 2 was given 125 we have written 120 in third it was written 190 and we have given it 100 then in uh, four, fifth column it was uh, 210 and we have written 190.
okay so we have just to write it according to uh, whatever we wanted okay there is no as such particular rule uh, in this regression analysis we need to write the uh, formula for slope and intercept so first we will write the syntax of both slope and in, uh, intercept so you can hear, see here the syntax of slope is equal to slope bracket known y's comma known x's and then you will write the syntax of intercept you can see here the syntax of intercept intercept is equal to intercept don't forget to write is equal to comma there's a bracket known y's and known x's comma known x's okay so this is the intercept uh, this is the syntax of intercept now in the question there was uh, the e column in which there were there were two question marks and you need to write the formula in that so in the first uh, there was slope you need to write the formula for slope is equal to slope and in the second one intercept is equal to intercept then you'll write the bracket after that what you need to write is the formula is like b2 is to b5 comma c2 is to c5 and same in the intercept b2 is to b5 and comma c2 is to c5 now from where we got this b2 b5 c2 c5 see b2 from b2 it will go up to c5 b2 and this will go up to C5 that's why we have taken B2 and B2 to B5 and C2 to C2 to C5 okay this is your B2 to B5 and C2 to C5 B2 to B5 and C2 to C5 okay uh, if you will check the answer from 10 here you will find that the answers which I am telling you are different from what is given in the 10 years because and if you'll do the questions practically from the 10 year on your computer you'll come to know that from those formulas you will not get the answer from but from these formulas which i am telling you you will surely get the answer uh, actually i have done these questions practically and i have got the answer but from the answers which are given in 10 year uh, the it was showing no answer it was showing the error okay and you can do it by yourself too now let's move forward to next question that is your loan and lease statement uh, all these questions are from 2016 question paper okay 